had an agreement. So I'm telling him I don't promote gangs. I'm not promoting that. So when we got over there, he asking all these crazy questions that could get people indicted. Wow. So I'm steady like, hey, that's out. That's out. So then when it all was said and done and over with, now you go title it. Oh, mm. hanging in the hood. That's like, come on, bro. I don't do that. I don't promote that. I don't support that, bro. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. I was just going to go back to when you were talking about, you know, the things that um, your grandmother instilled in mm -hmm. you. And I always, the rappers that are listening, upcoming rappers or, you know, the older rappers, what could you tell them to motivate them because you were in that spot that was talking about killing and all this stuff and now you're somewhere else you realize that it's not getting them anywhere how can you advise these people who are doing that same thing who is where you were um just have good people around you you know that's real important especially as young black men if you don't have a great male role model you're gonna find a bad male role model and that can, like, deter your whole life and stuff, too. So, I mean, just me personally, I've always seen where I lived and where I came from. I knew it wasn't the end-all, be-all. Wow. Like, my mindset was somewhere else. And I'm like, okay, I just got to get there. So I always knew. I, I, I believe in God. I got faith. I always know God. I'm like, God's going to take me here. And he ain't never made me, you know, go downward. I've always, it's always been like this. Man. It's been a slow grind. And I appreciate the slow grind because in the slow grind, I've learned so much more. And, you know, it makes me appreciate things today. Yeah. Man, that's my boy AD. Yeah. You know, no, boss talk one-on-one, yeah, one, man. It's going love, down, baby. No, I love the growth because one thing as a, a mother, you know, you tell these kids um, – the thing you want them to do good, just mm -hmm. like how you say you ran from that, mm -hmm. and we don't want you to run. We want you to change and change right now. But I've learned that it works in God's time, so don't be scared to tell these kids, and you don't be scared to pass your information on mm -hmm. to these kids. They might not hear you right now, but you heard eventually, yeah, and wow. you were able to change. You man. know what I mean? Smack, man. Yes. What's up, man? I, 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 listen, man. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. You kind of. I'm looking over there at you because I heard about the Tommy G situation about him hood blogging. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but then that's a white guy, right? Yeah. Like, and and this is is this after y'all leave uh, No Jumper? Nah, I was still there. He was still I there. Blog, okay, yeah. cool. I mean, I'm just trying to make sure you don't want no yeah. problems. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so what Keep was the time that? Yeah, that's right. What was the, what was the what was the deal with that? Uh, how can I how can I put it in perspective? Basically, like. We already had an agreement, so I'm telling him I don't promote gangs. I'm not promoting that. So when we got over there, he asking all these crazy questions that could get people indicted. Wow. So I'm steady like, hey, that's out. That's out. So then when it all was said and done and over with, now you go title it. Oh, mm. hanging in the hood. That's like, come on, bro. I don't do that. I don't promote that. I don't support that, bro. That's hard. Like, you trying to get me in jail and put a gang injunction on me or something? Like, then I had my manager hit him up. Tell him, take it down. It's untitled. He didn't want to listen. I'm like, you know what? God got me. I ain't worried about it, but that ain't the message that I want to put out. Yeah, and I get it, man, because you got to understand, man, when you, because you got a whole brand now. People people mm -hmm. don't really look at this the way that they ought to a lot of time because it come to them so fast and they never had to. You, there's no class for this. There's no nothing, nothing to tell you how to do this. Right. You just end up in a situation where you have to learn this as you go. So when you get in those situations, you start to be like, hey, man, this, this ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know when somebody's trying to pull a fast one on right. you. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely commend you for even recognizing that and for, for you to say that and to be a young man like you is, that show where y'all at, man. That's mm -hmm. hard, bro. Like I said, man, that, that that's the hardest thing when you, I, like I said earlier, being, being you know, what's, what's dope for me, what's gangster for me is taking care of your family. And I'm just, I, I'm just with that. Like, I'm with that, so with that, because at the end of the day, a lot of our brothers and a lot of our sisters have been misled and misguided and separated and divided. Facts. So we got to find a way to bring that back together. I think that happens with us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, But does that make you very precautious about the people that you actually next time sit down with? Uh, yeah, I just live and learn. So next time, if they ask me anything about anything, no comment. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.